as often times it's a practice in nigeria for clerics and a lot of spiritualists and even people that forecast um they come with different prophecies now these prophecies might be relevant and they might not be irrelevant but then don't let us jump to conclusions let us see um some of the prophecies and this one is apostle johnson suleiman is releasing his own 2020 prophecy as all of them oftentimes do they release a prophecy they say that is what god told them about the year they give for the 2019 they gave and they've been giving ever since now some people claim that they want to see um, innovation science and technology our lives will be better but then everyone has his own duty every messenger has his own message the general overseer of omega fire ministry ofm apostle johnson suleiman is a controversial apostle he was the one embroiled in the saga of otobo canada connection a woman in canada that claimed that apostle did this and that with her he, he went on Twitter on Wednesday morning, January 1st, 2020, New Year's Day, to tweet and he released what he claimed are prophecies that God told him. He said, year 2020 shall be a year of greater glory and greater works. Apostle Suleiman, who has been tagged by, as controversial, like I said, in some quarters, prayed that those that believe the 2020 prophecies released by him will become an institution. So you know what an institution means where people come and you, you employ them, you are like a pillar to them. Stressing the importance of the scripture, Apostle Suleiman quoted John 16, 20 and prayed that sorrow shall be turned to joy for those that believe that 2020 prophecies and that they shall enjoy peace on every side. Apostle Suleiman prayed that this year, helpers will come to the believers of the 2020 prophecies released by him from everywhere. And what we say, I receive, right? Below Apostle Johnson Suleiman's 2020 prophecies, this year, 2020, shall be a year of greater glory and greater works. You will become an institution. Your sorrow shall turn to joy. You shall enjoy peace on every side. Helpers will come to you from everywhere in Jesus' name. That is what he said. But I think this is more or less like a prophecy. Like I often explain, there are different kinds of prophecies. They call some prophecies Abrahamic prophecies, Abrahamic utterances, where you speak words of progress into people's life words of blessings into people's life like saying oh 40 people will buy a car in an in an auditor auditorium uh, uh, of fifty thousand people you know there's a possibility they will buy and of course there might be spiritual you know um they could work that way anyway spiritually also and um from what i've read here i've not seen much of oh this would be this of course it will always come out with every one of those things so he said you shall enjoy peace on every side. Help us will come to you from everywhere in Jesus' name. Happy New Year. And that is what he tweeted. Of course, he, he is definitely going to have more prophecies. I would rather say these are declarations or prayers. Declarations, these are declarations and these are not um, prophecies. These are simply declarations. You know, many of them will come out later to, to give us those strong prophecies, releasing details you know details of 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 what is eventually going to happen um later um in nigeria probably some politicians uh, will do this and that some politician will die you know or, or this person will lose this this person will get this this person will do this you know M many of these people they, 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 they do come up with 2020 prophecies and that is what nigerians Many of them that are used to you know, listen, get, listening to prophecies of prophets, of pastors, that is what most of them will be waiting for. But this I see are simply declarations rather than we say that we, we cannot actually say these are prophecies. So, guys, let, let us see other 2020 prophecies, other 2020 prophecies given out by other um, pastors. Let us go to Pastor Adeboye, Prophecies for 2020. is the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, RCCG, Pastor Enoch Adeboye. He, he has prophesied that there will be change of governments in many countries around the world this year, which is normal. Grouping Nigeria with the rest of the world in his annual prophecies this time, he said, this year there will be change of governments in many places all over the world. Some of the changes will be peaceful, while others will not be peaceful. You see, 
you know, it's 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 just that's just what, what it is. A lot of countries are going to change their government. Maybe their prime minister, their 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 presidents will just be changed. It's it's like you know. Well, let me move forward. So he said he, he said this while ministering at the church during church crossover at his, at the Redemption Camp Lagos Ibadan Expressway. He also said there will be a spike in the occurrence of natural disasters because sin has become more rampant and God is angry. Unless we pray very hard, the earth this year is going to behave like a child that is having convulsion. Uh, simply put, volcanoes, earthquake, and all of that. There will be earthquakes in many places where it never happened before, and volcanoes that have been dormant will erupt. The Lord said that whatever we saw last year, 2019, is nothing compared with what is coming this year, 2020. And the reason is that sin is becoming far more rampant than before. Things that in the past were not even mentioned are now being celebrated, and God is angry but if he said if we should pray and which is one of the reasons we should evangelize rapidly god will help the general overseer however prophesied joy for individual christians particularly members of rccg who participated in the annual Holy Ghost congress earlier last month for this group the year 2020 is going to be a year of series of joy because it is going to be a year of series of victories he said he said although that also imply series of battles victories are short because the battles are god's battle concluding the day prophecies which he explained will be continued on Friday. He said God had assured him that those who are his children will have their prayers answered extremely rapidly. In the sermon before the transition to 2020, which was transcribed by the, um, which was transcribed, he disclosed that he was a bit shaky when God gave him the theme, the battle is not yours. As he continued to seek his face and observe things unfolding, he was assured he therefore charged the congregation repeatedly, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. So I'm, I'm going to quickly see more, more things, more prophecies that um, all of them give. Now let's go to Bishop David Oyedepo, 2020 prophecies, or is it declaration? Let's see what he has. Uh, you know, he is the pastor of one of the biggest churches in Nigeria. Is the founder and presiding bishop of Living Faith Church Winners Chapel. He gave the prophecies during the 2019 crossover night at the church headquarters in Otago State, stating that the Bible was made up of limit breakers. Oyedepo disclosed that Nigerians would break limits in all endeavors. That is what he said. This is a pastor that is known for, you know, he says he's a, he's a pastor of, of wealth creation. So it's more or less about um, finance, money, 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 wealth. That is what he claimed is more or less about. So, the Bible is full of limits, like I said. That is what he said. I received this prophetic word and I declare with my mouth that I am stepping into the year 2020 breaking limits. So I see this more as a declaration. This is more as a declaration. You see, the year 2020 is ordained, uh, is ordained my limit breaking year and I'm stepping into the reality of it with faith in God whose hand can make anything happen at any time. So help me, Jesus, to walk into the reality of this limitless grace in all areas of my life. I am breaking limits in my health I am breaking limit in my family. I'm breaking limit. Just, you know, you just had every rest of it. Whatever you want to break limits in. Break limits in oppression. Break limits in poverty. You know, backwardness, struggle. And every one of that. Break limits in tyranny. Just like what we have in Nigeria, you know. And things that are happening right now. Let's just break all those limits. So, I see this more or less as a declaration rather than a prophecy as it seems many of them are being careful they are being careful um about them releasing words of prophecy like they oftentimes come up with five million five thousand prophecies and all of that now let us go to another pastor and that is uh, the founder and general overseer of mountain of fire and miracles ministry mfm dr dk olukoya he has released his own prophecy he, you know he gives prophecies he gives his own prophecy he sees the moment to advise Nigerians on how to stay focused throughout the year as he highlighted some points which are to be followed. One, he said, these are more or less like instructions, say, holy living, no nonsense prayers, Bible addiction, sacrificial giving, hard work, watchfulness. He concluded by revealing the prophecies for the year, which are a year for rewriting negative family history, a year of aggressive prayer against voices from the foundation, a year of unbelievable answers to prayer, a year of it can only be God testimony, a year where many captives will divorce their chains, a year of activating the blood of Jesus, a year when the Lord shall dash in pieces the kingdom of evil rulers, 
a year when where many families shall climb to a level of victory a year of ceaseless prayers a year when saints must be more sensitive to heavenly frequencies a year of food supplies from the throne of of king error to be caught a year where disobedience to god will yield terrible results that no deliverance can solve a year where round the clock prayer is needed against national recklessness and political confusion a year where impatience will lead impatience will lead to strange marriages a year not only to take back what the enemy has stolen but also occupy new territory strong prayers needed to avoid earthquake just the same um, i think it has to do with the same one that uh, the boy also said increase acceleration and speed don't hold on to forgiveness a year of confusion and mercy major political leader will be sh shifted a year where many have waters in the past will now begin to bloom a year where many who have endured seasons of delay, trial, tribulations will sing and dance. A year of return of prodigals who have repented. A year where we must return to our ancient landmark. A year of perfection of divine people. A year of positive and negative adverse. Extraordinary and sacrificial giving will yield very powerful results. Up and down here, a year that the Lord shall tear in pieces the kingdom of those against him. A season of that which has the lady children of God shall be scattered. Resurrection of dry bones, fresh start, and turning points. More than any other year, the enemy will release the dog spirit. So you know what the dog spirit is? Well, that's what he calls it, sexual perversion. As you can see, there are certain flag bearers of sexual perversion in Nigeria now. Not because they don't exist, but there is a poster boy for that. And that person, I don't need to talk about him. You already know who that boy is, that young man that has decided to fly himself as an you know an image of sexual um, perversion so that's just um, i think um, the the three uh, prophets or pastors um, that that have decided to give their own prophecy let's finally look into mbaka let's go to the eastern part of nigeria let's go to nigeria. we have mbaka he has decided to drop he has been quiet all this while he's a fiery roman catholic priest A.G. Kimbaka, during his 2019 crossover administration, disclosed that there will be more hard times for Nigerians in 2020. He also prophesied that the 2019 APC governorship candidate for Imo State, Senator Ope Uzodima, would take over the governance of Imo State from the incumbent governor, Chief Emeka Ihe Dioha. We'll see. You know, prophecies about politics can be very funny. Anyway, like I said, there are prophecies in the realm of men and prophecies in the realm of God. There are two different things about this. So according to him, many things are going to happen in Nigeria this 2020 that will shock country men and country women, but all will be to God's glory. In spite of all the hard time that would happen this 2020, there is hope. In Imo State, there is hope. Hope, hope, hope in Imo State. That's what he said. So he said, Imo people have suffered, but God is raising a new hope that will be an agent of salvation to them. It's coming with a new flag to restore um, leadership. Lift your candles as I bless Hope Uzodima. You know, the, some of these prophecies um, from many of these people are kind of politically packaged. So I, I don't really, I don't really, I don't really fancy some of their prophecies anyway. I don't fancy their prophecies because it is more con connected to, to, to some kind of um, politics. And when you look at these people, most of the time, um, they are actually um, say, thinking that they are prophesying. Um, but they are not actually prophesying, they are only prophesying um, their own stomach um, rather than what God has told them. So, guys, this is just what, you see, what, what, what it is. You know, this is just what it is. A, a lot of prophecies, a lot of prophecies here and there. A lot of prophecies, a lot of prophecies. Um, T.B. Joshua is also there. He will also be giving, uh, he, will also, he will also give out his own prophecies. You know, many of them will always give out prophecies, prophecies. So, a lot of Nigerians are angry, and I'll tell you why. Because they claim, why do many of the prophets and pastors wait till the end of the year, December, to begin to dish out what they call prophecies? And, um, you know, they, they are not so happy about this. Many people are not happy about this. They say, well, and some people claim that just like corporate organizations, that they wait till the end of the year to close their financial books. So Nigerian churches are also doing the same, waiting till the, till the end of the year to close the spiritual book and open a new one for the next year for the next year so a lot of them even primate elijah your delay um you know all of them all of them one way or the other they give their own kind of um, prophecy their own kind of prophecy 
the founder of the I I N I R I Evangelical Spiritual Church in Yano Isolo Ejigbo, Lagos Prime in Babatunde, Elijah Ayodele. He also released his own prophecy. He said, um, you know, APC government will crack, but only a strong opposition that will imagine both parties can be able to unseat them. New chairman to emerge for APC and main opposition party PDP before the next general election. He also revealed that government will rise against churches. And he also said, I see death of popular men of God in Nigeria. Political tension will rise. Cabals will rise against the national leader of the APC. Bola Tenumbu and the vice president, Yemi be redu will be reduced to nothing. APC will, will retain Ondo State, no matter what Adam Sashoma let's say or do. Governor Obaseki will still retain Edo State. The man of God, however, decried the negative write-ups he has received lately, despite the fact that most of his prophecies have come to pass. So, guys, I'm going to leave it at this. These are the prophecies that they all came out with. If you're not a member of this channel, let us grow together by you tapping on the subscription button and the red notification icon bell below. It will alert you whenever videos are uploaded. Thanks for stopping by.